So as I mentioned, again, today, there are three steps that I would like all of us to take you, me, together. And those three steps are Number one, identify what it is that you want out of life and figure out what steps you need to accomplish to get there. And you don't have to start taking these steps quite yet. I just want all of us to know what it is, what that first step especially. Try not to think about the farther down steps, but what's the first step that will help you achieve your goal? And ultimately where you want to be in life. In this process of thinking about that and identifying, that's the key word here, identify that first step, like stepping stones, you know, the first step, just the first little baby step that will help you achieve what you want to achieve in life. During this process of identification, try not to think about your illness slash obstacle slash disability because I know that that can just cause extreme anxiety and depression and that's what we're trying to really kind of avoid. We want to try to focus on moving forward and the positive things. So for this week, I want you for step one just to write that first step down. And even if it kind of feels overwhelming, you know, write it down and you don't have to look at it again until next week. So that's what I want you to do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write it down and that's step one. Okay, step number two is to not think about anybody else but yourself, and in my case, myself, in relation to that first step. This is probably the toughest step in this group and maybe the toughest step there is not comparing yourself with other people and their lives and what they have possibly achieved. Um, I know personally I am constantly comparing my life to others' lives, thinking about how far behind I am and how far ahead everybody else has moved and how they've gone on to do all kinds of things in life and all kinds of great fun things. And I'm stuck at that point when I started to get very sick, which is basically just post high school. And I was very young, you know, I graduated high school a year early. I combined actually 11th and 12th grades into one year. So I graduated when I was, I had just turned 17. So I was young when this all happened. So I'm kind of, it's, I, I think about it almost like, you know, a chemical dependency, like a drug addiction or alcoholism. Like they say that once you develop that addiction, your mental and emotional development stops at that time. And then although the years progress, you still stay developmentally at that place like before you develop that addiction. And I kind of think chronic disease or chronic illness or many kinds of disabilities can be very much like that. So for this step, just every time you find yourself starting to compare your life with others' lives, stop and physically do something. Go read a book, go watch your favorite TV show or movie. If you can, take a walk. I know that's what I do. Um, not only does it help relieve some of my pain, but it focuses my mind. Just get yourself out of that mind space where you're comparing yourself with others. And the best way to do that is to actually physically do something else. So for this week, just start to stop comparing yourself with others. Because for me, and I'm sure for many of you, that just causes anger and resentment. And the only person, again, that hurts is you or me. And you and I don't deserve nor need any more pain in our lives. We have enough to deal with, right? Furthermore, just the idea of being able to compare yourself and your life circumstances with somebody else who really hasn't had to overcome any kind of 
major obstacle or doesn't deal with chronic pain or debilitating symptoms on a daily basis aren't aren't comparable. You know, you can't really I know we do make that comparison, but they're not comparable. Every achievement you or I make is literally so much bigger, even if it's just the fact that not only have you achieved that thing, but you've actually lived through it. So, you know, that's huge. And that's something that most people don't really have to face, especially young. Start to stop comparing yourself with other people and other people's lives and what they may or may not have accomplished because they're not comparable. <laughs>
and just commend yourself. Be proud of the progress that you've made. And if you're at your worst right now, I want you to start here. And I want you to repeat the first step, which is just to identify that first step of how you can start to get better. Do you have 100% trust in your doctors? If you don't, find new ones. Be your own advocate no matter what and stand up for yourself and what is best for you. If you think there's a medication that might help your condition or help your pain, etc., and it's not currently being prescribed to you, I want you to research it up and down and go talk to your doctor. And then you have a whole ton of research to back it up. Try basic things like meditating or mindfulness-based stress reduction. And I know sometimes it sounds like uh, holistic, goofy, like that doesn't work. But I can say from experience that I've actually had times from, you know, attending classes or, you know, seeing certain specialists or even just meditating, where I have actually had times when I've been completely pain-free or when my anxiety just starts to subside. And believe it or not, these things can actually really help. <laughs> so that's it. Those three steps. I want you to work on them this week, and I am going to work on them this week. And if you would like to share your steps and or struggles, please feel free to do so in the comments below. I really would like to hear about them and learn from what you have to teach me. And then next week for Talk About It Tuesday, I will talk about my steps and my challenges. Just don't let anyone judge you for who you are and what or what you cannot do. And always know that I am in your corner. Thank you very much again for watching and for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a happy and healthy day and good luck in starting to make those small baby steps in starting to achieve your goal and find motivation and ultimately success. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye.